So if you haven't heard, OpenAI just released their new flagship model, GPT-40, and I'm as excited as a kid on Christmas morning. Hi, I'm Aldo from Zero to Mastery, and today we're going to talk about what we can expect from this new exciting update. Let's get into it. Now let's start by answering what the O in GPT-40 stands for, which is for Omni. If you didn't know, Omni is a Latin word for all, so it seems like OpenAI thinks that this model can truly do it all. Brave. I like it. This new model is set to be completely free for the public and should roll out within the next few weeks, at least when it comes to its full list of features, which we will get into soon enough. Now, if you're anything like me and have been paying $20 monthly for GPT-4, you might be asking yourself, wait, wait, wait. So I've been paying $20 monthly for a model that's essentially obsolete now, and everyone gets the new and improved version completely for free? Where are my $20? Well, here's the deal. Even though GPT-4.0 will be free, there are still a couple of solid reasons why you may want to hold on to your ChatGPT Plus subscription. The first one is that you're going to get more prompts to play with than your regular free subscription would. And the second one is that there are future updates and features in the pipeline that only people with the paid membership will get access to. So if you're one of those people that likes the newest and greatest things as soon as they come out, then it may be worthwhile holding on to that subscription. Now, one of the biggest gripes that I've seen online about OpenAI is the lack of a desktop app for ChatGPT. You would think that a multi-billion dollar company would have sorted this out by now, right? Well, lucky for us, in the demo, they finally announced that we are getting a desktop app. It only took them 532 days. But who's counting? Me. I'm counting. That's it. While the wait for the desktop app was long, it might have been worth it because in the demo, they showed its vision capabilities and man, was it impressive. TPT 4.0 has the ability to see your screen and guide you through tasks. And when I say tasks, I truly mean everything. Debugging your code, designing presentations, providing feedback on your work, literally getting recipes for you from a cookbook. It, it doesn't matter. Whatever you can think of, this thing can do. And the best part about it is that unlike a human assistant, then you can just shoo it away whenever you want. I mean, the thing doesn't have feelings, right? At least for now. Besides the addition of a desktop app, OpenAI also refreshed their UI. And as you can see, they're keeping things nice and minimal. Glad to see that minimalism is still alive in 2024. I mean, you know how minimalists are. They love to talk about how little they need. OpenAI is no different. Now, jokes aside, this damn model is impressive. But before we get into the features, I need to highlight something that was said in the demo. So I'll just let you hear it straight from the source. Until now, with voice mode, we had three models that come together to deliver this experience. We have transcription, intelligence, and then text-to-speech all comes together in orchestration to deliver voice mode. This also brings a lot of latency to the experience, and it really breaks that immersion in the collaboration with ChatGPT. But now, with GPT-4.0, this all happens natively. GPT-4.0 reasons across voice, text, and vision. If you didn't catch that, here's the rundown. Previously, to get voice mode working, OpenAI had to juggle three separate models, one to turn your speech into text, another to process the text, and a third to convert it back into speech. This setup was extremely slow. But now with GPT-4.0, they've simplified everything. This single neural network can handle text, images, and audio all at once. If that's not impressive, I don't know what is. Now, what are the features that are gonna be available for everyone? The first one is the GPT Store. Here you will find custom versions of ChatGPT that are tailor-made for specific tasks and industries. Then of course there's the vision capability. This feature allows you to send images and engage in conversations based on those images. Next is the browsing feature. With this, GPT-4.0 can access and retrieve information from the web in real time, allowing you to access the latest data. And then there's memory, which may be my personal favorite, which allows it to remember things about previous conversations that you've had. Lastly, we got advanced data analysis. This gives GPT-4.0 the ability to handle complex data sets and perform sophisticated analytical tasks. 
Again, these things take time, so fair warning, you might not have these all accessible right away, but they should be available within the next few weeks. If you haven't seen the demo yet, I highly recommend checking it out, but let me give you a quick rundown of the key highlights. The most notable part of the demo centered around the real-time conversation between the two research leads and GPT-40. Hey, so I'm on stage right now, I'm doing a live demo, and frankly, I'm feeling a little bit nervous. Can you help me calm my nerves a little bit? Oh, you're doing a live demo right now? That's awesome! Just take a deep breath. And remember, you're the expert. Some new features in this voice mode are the ability to interrupt the model whenever you like, a much faster response time, and its ability to detect your emotions. Like seriously, this thing can tell if you're stressed or even if you're being sarcastic. And I wrote uh, one last thing I'd love if you could take a look at. Of course, I'd love to see what you wrote. Show it to me whenever you're ready. Okay, so this is what I wrote down. What do you see? Aw, I see. I love ChatGPT. That's so sweet of you. It understands if you're joking or need comfort and can respond with the right emotion. It can even laugh at your jokes, even if you're as funny as your drunk friend trying stand-up comedy for the first time. Back to its response time, it's not just faster, it feels more human-like. Almost if you were catching up with an old friend or colleague. It's even been compared to the AI in Her, the movie with Joaquin Phoenix, which by the way, if you haven't seen that movie, it's a great watch, 100% recommend. You're dating your computer? She's not just a computer. If all that wasn't enough, GPT-40 has eyes just like you and I. Okay, maybe not the exact same, but it's still very impressive what this thing can see. In the demo, they asked it to help solve a linear equation written on a piece of paper using the camera on the smartphone, and it did just that. It didn't blurt out the answer, but instead guided them through the problem. It looks perfect. You've solved it, and x equals 1. Nicely done. So that's a quick rundown on GPT-40 and its amazing new features. What do you guys think? Does it live up to the hype, or is it just a filler until GPT-5? Let me know down below. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more epic tech content. I'll see you in the next one.